The registrations for the Pavlova Dance Invitational are open in the hotel where Rowan is staying. She talks to her mom, Joe, on the phone about how wonderful it is to be in the city when the housekeeping lady, Margie, walks in. She has brought Rowan a set of fresh towels and can't believe that Rowan insists on doing chores and cleaning around the room even though she's staying here as a guest. Rowan admits to Margie that she tends to clean when she's nervous but denies this to Joe to not make her worried. Nevertheless, Joe emphasizes that there's no room for Rowan to be nervous because it makes her hands all sweaty and slippery. Margie wishes her luck to have a good rehearsal that day and leaves while Joe continues to talk over the phone. She asks about Noah who is Rowan's partner and whether they're ready to perform at one of the most prestigious events. Rowan has worked her whole life for this but her mom's reminders do seem a little excessive sometimes. She and Noah are almost ready as they've got everything down except for the Cheshire lift. Rowan can't seem to get her timing right on that one and Joe gives her some motivation about how she can't quit if she wants to open her own dance studio someday. Rowan promises Joe that she'll get the prize money from this competition to fulfill her dream. She's sure that as long as she and Noah are together, everything will be okay. She thinks that they're the perfect pair who can nail this performance. Next, Rowan is rehearsing with Noah, who drops her in the lift that they're practicing. Noah lectures her on how everything has to be precise as even being up a millisecond can lead to them sticking the lift. He accuses her of being over in your head and she calls him out for yelling at her. Noah cools himself off and apologizes to her, explaining that he's nervous about the competition. He wants to call off rehearsals for today but she insists that they've got this under control. They have a whole week to work on their lift because the rest of the routine is looking great. Noah starts to walk out and she follows him, asking if he wants to grab a bite with her. He stops in his tracks and begins to question her about why she wore the shirt she's wearing today as he has already established that he hates it. Rowan responds that her best friend Aubrey made this shirt and she likes it. Noah further asks if she's even serious about this competition which causes her to remind him that she has her eyes on the prize money as it'll allow her to open her dance academy. She's been working on the business plan for years and even has a place picked out. Noah knows all this already but he still informs her that he can't do this. Winning is the most important thing to him as he comes from humble beginnings like her and knows that this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Winning this competition will make them achieve their dreams and people will finally start to take them seriously. He desperately wants fame which he'll only get if they win and he can't rely on her because she keeps messing up the ending lift. He declares that he doesn't want to dance with her at the competition and will ask someone else to be his partner. This makes Rowan very upset as they've been rehearsing together for months. But that doesn't matter to Noah because he's certain that they're not in sync. Rowan is locked up in her hotel room when Aubrey gets there because she managed to talk the hotel manager into giving her a key. She sits down on the bed while Rowan stays hidden under the sheets. Aubrey points out that she drove for three hours to get here to comfort her which brings Rowan out. Aubrey has also brought her pizza to heal her heart. Rowan tells her all about her falling out with Noah and she doesn't understand how they can't be in sync because they had been dancing together since they were kids. Aubrey calls him a snake and contemplates going over there when Rowan stops her. She appreciates her protectiveness but knows that nothing will come out of it. Rowan also adds that it's not like they're broken up. Noah has switched dance partners but will still be her boyfriend as far as she knows. This makes Aubrey wonder why any of his stuff isn't in her room and she answers that they never stay together because her breathing disturbs him while sleeping. Aubrey calls him insane and makes Rowan understand how shitty his actions have been. She knows how much this competition meant to Rowan so she advises her to rest tonight, after which she'll drive her home in the morning. Rowan refuses to go home, influenced by her mother's teaching to never quit. So, she decides to wake up at the crack of dawn and grind until she gets her timing right. Then she'll go back to Noah who will take her back and they'll win the competition as planned. Aubrey fully supports her fearless friend's decision. Rowan spends all of the next morning practicing in a public space. She's going through her routine when a buff man named Walt stops jogging to watch her moves. She messes up and throws her bottle in frustration which hits Walt right in the eye. She realizes her mistake and apologizes to him, explaining her situation. He claims that he's been watching her while running and knows that her timing is off. He explains that she's been going forward when she should cut in from the side to get there faster. Rowan wonders if he's a dancer and responds that it's not how it's done. He continues to run, suggesting that rules need to be broken sometimes. Once he's left, she tries his technique even though it sounds dumb to her. But it works and she lands the lift. She excitedly heads to the studio to break the news to Noah where she finds him practicing with his new partner who is also very touchy with him. Rowan runs out of there feeling like a fool and he comes after her, requesting her to not cause a scene. She confronts him about what was happening in the studio and he accepts that he moved on quite soon but it was due because they broke up. Rowan is in disbelief because he talked about getting a new partner, not a new girlfriend. 
She can no longer listen to his futile excuses and explanations so she storms out after making it clear that she'll win the competition using the same song with a different partner. Aubrey empathizes with her when she hears about this over lunch. She offers to take her home as Rowan has all her friends and family there. She can leave this big city to fame seekers like Noah but Rowan doesn't want to abandon her dream of opening a dance academy. Aubrey teaches her that dreams can change based on her personal experiences because she has switched from one business to another many times. She assures Rowan that she can find something that'll make her just as happy. If she'd never changed her dreams, she'd never found out her true passion which is bedazzling old shoes. She plans to make a deal for it while she's in the big city and Rowan agrees with all of this. But she has already threatened Noah and expects Aubrey to help her in defeating him. Aubrey loves this idea and starts working on her phone to find her a new dance partner. But it turns out that finding a new partner isn't that easy, as Rowan and Aubrey try their luck with every dancer in town, only to find out that they're either booked or out of town. Aubrey comes up with the idea of asking the guy who helped Rowan out in the first place. She protests that he was huge but that also means that he can easily lift her so she agrees to give it a shot. She remembers the t-shirt he was wearing with the name Walt's Jim printed on it so that's where she goes to look for him. There's a notice of foreclosure at the door because Walt is lacking on his mortgage payments. Rowan heads inside and looks around to see if anyone's present. This place seems to be her worst nightmare and she still doesn't get a response from anyone. She sees Walt's picture hung on a wall with an old man and accidentally rings a bell underneath it which makes a really loud sound. She hides awkwardly when Walt walks out, thinking that it's someone from the bank who's come here to bother him. He recognizes Rowan from that morning and asks what brought her here. She thanks him for the tip and reports that it worked. After an awkward pause of silence, she inquires if he has a background in dance. He corrects her, saying that he does boxing and she accidentally calls his boxing gloves mittens. She understands that he's a very straightforward person so she gets to the point. She tells him about the invitational and what it means to her, followed by her dance partner dilemma. Before she can even ask him properly, he abruptly says no because he doesn't dance. She argues that he understands timing and he reinforces that her timing is very bad as one look around her is enough to know that his business isn't booming right now. So he wants to put his focus on keeping his gym open and not losing some silly dance competition. She pleads with him and mentions that no actual dancer is available to partner with her. He turns her down again and she stomps out in frustration. Her phone rings and she knows that her day just got worse because it's her mom calling. She is about to hang up on her when Joe orders her to crush Noah as Aubrey caught her up on everything that's happened so far. Joe pushes her to do whatever it takes to beat Noah as no one is allowed to hurt Joe's baby. This gives Rowan a much needed boost of energy and she goes back inside with the notice in her hand. She incentivizes Walt with the prize money of 100 grand that'll be split 50-50 if they win. That way, he can save this place and she doesn't even care that he doesn't know how to dance. She can teach him and the only way for him to save this place is to dance with her. He takes one bite out of his sandwich and shakes hands with her to show that he's in. That night, Rowan goes out with Aubrey for drinks and they rejoice over the fact that she not only got a partner, but a hot one too. She is also terrified of the fact that he might not have any rhythm at all but Aubrey claims that teaching someone to dance is the plot of numerous rom-coms so it can be done within 90 minutes. Nevertheless, Rowan requests her to bring her video equipment to record their rehearsal so that they can watch and make adjustments as needed. The next day, they go to Walt's gym where Aubrey tries on a dusty old pair of boxing gloves while Rowan vaguely calls out to him because she still doesn't know his name. Walt appears with an order to Aubrey to put the gloves down while he eats another sandwich. He mentions that the old man in the picture is his dad Walt SR, who was the original owner of the gym. They exchange names and the girls feel like they need to clean the place so that they can practice with ease. They tidy up the place according to Rowan's standards while also having tons of fun as a group. Walt makes himself another sandwich, after which they start working on their contemporary routine. It turns out that Walt is a complete novice at dance and understands nothing about ballet. So she makes him start with line dancing and the simple step of a heel jack. He sees no point in the way dancers do their counts but still follows along. They put on country music and as soon as the step advances, Walt trips over his own feet and falls. But that's enough to send Rowan on a spiral about her making a huge mistake as there's no way she can pull this off in six days. She runs out feeling hopeless and embarrassed to think that she can still have her dream. The next day, Aubrey wakes up to Rowan's grunts as she's watching boxing matches on the TV and replicating the moves too. It took her an epiphany last night and tons of coffee this morning to figure out that she needs to start thinking like a boxer to get on the same page with Walt. She shows up at his gym while Aubrey is at some meeting and persuades him to teach her how to box. They work together until lunch, after which she'll teach him dance moves of her own. Meanwhile, Aubrey tracks down the pioneer of high heels to pitch her idea to him but he bursts into laughter as soon as he sees her bedazzled shoes. He mocks their design and assumes that he is being pranked on live TV. Aubrey takes great offense in his insult and announces to everyone at the restaurant that her shoes are going to be very successful one day. Later, she runs into Noah who hears about Rowan's attempts to look for a new dance partner. He reasons with Aubrey to make her friend stop and not embarrass herself further. He's confident that she can't find anyone last minute. 
Aubrey gives him the shut up call by breaking the news that Rowan already found someone, and he even helped her nail her final lift. Noah is curious to know who Rowan's new partner is but Aubrey keeps the mystery while also spooking Noah about the potential danger of losing he faces now. When Aubrey gets to the gym, she pushes Rowan and Walt to beat Noah at any cost and do it while wearing her shoes to bring her some business too. Both Rowan and Aubrey confide in each other about the struggles they're facing right now and accomplishing their goals while Walt helps himself to a sandwich. The girls hug with the resolution to support each other through it all before Rowan invites Walt to dinner with her to discuss their plan. That evening, they walk to a fancy place to have dinner and Walt refuses to go in. This is because this place is too fancy for him but she argues that this is the healthiest place in town. He offers to her somewhere else even though it might not be as healthy as her suggestion. They get some hot dogs from a cart and sit under a bridge by the river, which Rowan is confused about, until she takes the first bite. It's so tasty that she has to admit that it's better than the healthy place she chose. They plan on eating more of these and she feels like a little kid. He is impressed by her eating skills as he used to eat everything and anything in his boxing days. According to his dad, all food is fuel and it can be seen from Walt's face that he misses him terribly. Rowan encourages him to open up about his past and learns that he had a perfect record as a boxer. He reveals that his dad got hurt and needed him which is why he gave up boxing. For Walt, family is everything which is why he sacrificed his career but his dad passed away soon after. Since then, he's been trying to keep the gym open but he doesn't know anything about business. This makes him feel like a failure these days and she empathizes with him, offering to give him a hug. As they're in an embrace together, she whispers to him that he isn't a failure as his effort to keep his dad's legacy alive is proof enough of that. He reminds her that she wanted to discuss something with him but she puts it off. Later on, she shares with him that she's been building a business plan for her academy for years and is pretty good at it. So, if they win, she can also help with building a business plan for his dad's gym if he wants. He expresses his confidence in them so they can make plans for when they win. When Rowan returns to her hotel room that night, Margie catches her smiling to herself. She immediately guesses that this joy is brought by a man as only romance can make a woman blush and smile like that. When she comes to the gym the next day, Walt has equipped himself with a makeshift weapon made out of a broom and a boxing glove. The purpose of this weapon is to fight off the rat who is trying to take over the gym. Rowan decides that it's her breaking point now and takes him to a studio to rehearse properly. A lot of dancers are stretching in weird positions when they step inside and Walt immediately fears that he's not going to fit in here. Rowan catches up on his inferiority complex and questions him on whether he thinks he's good enough for fancy places like the restaurant and the studio. He admits that this is all part of her world and she immediately understands what he's going through. She shares that she didn't have anything growing up and her dad had to work really hard to build what they have today. That's why she doesn't take anything for granted and always remembers where she came from. She extends her hands in warmth to Walt who holds onto them. She promises to always have his back and they walk to a room hand in hand. They're practicing their moves when Walt notices that they have a lot of eyes on them. Walt accidentally falls because of a weak spot that he got from an old boxing injury. Noah and his new partner, Beth also observe this whole scene while Rowan helps Walt get back up on his feet. She makes eye contact with Noah and her face immediately darkens which doesn't go unnoticed by Walt. He checks in on her but she stays focused on their routine while Noah still watches. Walt lifts Rowan up but she accidentally hits him in the eye with her knee. She shouts at him for bailing on the lift while he complains about getting kneed in the face. She conveys how important it is to not bail on the lift or someone can get seriously hurt. She screams at him in front of everyone and he shouts back at her for switching her attitude from sweet to rude so fast as soon as that guy got here. When he pinpoints Noah in front of everyone, she goes away to take a break. Noah finds Rowan sitting by herself in a room and approaches her, talking about her new partner. He insinuates that they were trying something too advanced and she instantly gives the excuse that he has a bad knee. Noah recommends she get a different partner who just got free but Rowan is aware that he is a registered level 1 dancer. If she takes him on, she'll have to dance at level 1 with him. Noah mocks that her current partner is level 0 which instigates her to walk off. She doesn't have time to relax because she must win the competition. That's when Walt walks into intercept and signals for Rowan to leave so that she can no longer be bullied. He puts Noah in his place very politely and maturely while also intimidating him. Walt proceeds to assure Rowan that she's better off without a guy like Noah, but she is really overwhelmed by all the stress and pressure she's under. He distracts her by taking her out for a coffee. She laughs at the coffee shop when she notices that he got himself a hot chocolate. On his insistence, she vents about how her whole life so far has been very structured. She was put in dance classes as a kid for pageant season which was terrible for her. One day, she broke down on stage in front of everyone. She started crying which made her mom so mad because that's when her distant father was in the audience too. Her mother took that moment as her failure which led to the end of Rowan's pageant career. Jo redirected her focus on Rowan's dancing which was a relief because it reduced her involvement. Dance brought Rowan freedom as long as she remained perfect at the competition. Winning mattered because it was a way of earning her mother's love. Not knowing whether she'll win now makes her feel unworthy of being loved. Walt isn't good at communication but still proclaims that she's worthy of love. They know that they're crazy for trying. 
It's still worth trying for her academy and his gym. Their practice sessions go on under Noah's jealous surveillance. But there's a move he can't perfect due to his bad knee so he cheers her up with his purest dancing. She joins in and gives him his dad's old gloves that she got covered in case now. She's talking pleasantly on the phone with her mom afterward when Noah shows up at the door of her hotel room. He has been missing Rowan a lot since he's been dancing with Beth. It's not the same for him and he wants her back. He wants to dance with her at the Invitational and blames his shitty behavior on the stress of the competition. Her mom is still on the phone and advocates for her to get with him because winning should come at any cost. On the day of the competition, Walt is thrilled to dance with Rowan when she shows up at his door to return his coat that she secretly sniffs for the last time. With a heavy heart, she breaks off their partnership because she needs to win. He is hurt that she believes that she can't win with him and wipes his tears to try to be understanding. He returns the shirt Aubrey made him so that she can give it and the bedazzled shoes to Noah. When she shows up to rehearsals late, Noah is visibly upset. Meanwhile, Walt gets another notice from the bank which breaks his spirit even more. He finds Rowan's music lying in his gym and heads to the hotel to return it because she might not have copies. Rowan is struggling with Noah because she's hesitating before the lift due to her lack of trust in him. It takes an altercation to realize that he doesn't really love her so she dumps him too. Walt is at the hotel's reception when he runs into Joe and hands her Rowan's flash drive. When Joe goes up to Rowan's room, she teases her about how apparent it is that Walt loves her. They go out for dinner where they compare who's better for her, Noah or Walt. Rowan is disappointed to know that Joe degraded Walt and blew him off. She ends the dinner and goes to Walt to win him back, hoping he'll show up on the day of the competition. He shows up after all and they have a fun time knowing they won't win. But the audience loves their act so much that they end up winning and kissing while being showered with confetti.